The Corps of Engineers has a national program, it's called the Sustainable Rivers Project, and the goal is to bring ecologists and reservoir managers and operators together to try to improve operations to the benefit of ecosystems. And that would mean fish, mussels, aquatic vegetation, just aquatic life, and the reaches of rivers downstream of the dam. The Allegheny River and several of the tributaries in the Upper Ohio are exceptional in, in the habitat and the number of species, mussels and fish that, that live there. Um, this is to, to return the flows to what they were historically that these species evolved to live in so that we have, for instance, maybe high flows in the spring that cues the fish to, to spawn. We're hoping to have a better understanding of how, as the river fluctuates, as the core fluctuates, releases from the dam, and then resulting river fluctuations happen, habitat changes for mussels and fish. And why that's really important right now is that um, the mussel populations are doing fantastically. We want to understand why they're doing well. And what we know is coming is a, a changing climate and changing hydrology. And so the Corps actually issued a study last year that predicted that flows would change in the dry season by 20 to 30 percent in the next 50 to 75 years. And so it's important that we understand what those changes will mean for these populations and see if there's anything that we can do to protect them in advance. Uh, the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy staff are here collecting all of the data points for the bathymetric survey that we're completing for the Army Corps of Engineers uh, in collaboration with the Nature Conservancy. So we're taking our research vessel out into the Allegheny River and pulling points uh, every second for depth with latitude and longitude to make a, a detailed map of the river bottom. So, uh, this fish finder collects data down to the tenth of an inch, or I'm sorry, the, the tenth of a foot. So we'll be able to by, by taking a, a grid pattern across the river, we'll get real-time, real-depth points. And then we'll be able to use the GIS information to fill in the gaps and essentially get a, a seamless picture of the river bottom down to the tenth of the foot. I think it's important because it, there's not any sort of data about that right now. Um, this is data that hasn't been collected, hasn't been done for the, the upper Allegheny River. Um, it's data that is very important to understand what the river bottom is like, um, what it's comprised of, um, what the flow is like, and what it, what it will be like as uh, changes in the river hydrology occur.